Okay, so we can get the blood test this afternoon, and they'll fax the results to you in St. Croix. You'll have the license waiting for us. Great. Now, this is not just to be romantic, but incredibly romantic, right? Great. This is real important to me, Connie. Yeah. Little island chapel, decked to the max in exotic flowers. Oh, that sounds great. Fantastic. I'll see you this afternoon, then. Bye-bye. Yeah, come in. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt. You're not interrupting. I was just finishing up. Can I talk to you for a minute? Of course you can. Come in. I just want to apologize. I'm sorry for this rough transition period. There's no need to be sorry. I'm sure you're as eager as I am to get on with your life. Yes, I am. Because I want you to know that I am going to be getting on with things. When Ridge gets back in town, we're going to be together. Completely together. All packed? I haven't even started. You haven't started? Our mm -hmm. plane leaves in two hours. Well, that plane is going to leave here without us. Wh Wait a minute. What are you talking about? I'm just not ready to leave paradise, that's all. I want to swim in the ocean again. I want to walk again on the beach with you at sunset. We have responsibilities back in L.A. Oh, check the responsibilities. Let's go native here. Let's live on an island. Live off the land, walk around with hardly any clothes on. Swim, sail, make love on the sand, and bask in the sun indefinitely. What do you say? You know that's not possible. We have to get back to the real world. Are you saying you want to leave here before our wedding? And I have to get back to my patients, and you have to get back to work. Did you say wedding? So you're still planning to take the baby and move in with Ridge? If you're worried about little Eric, don't be. We will still spend a lot of time together as a family. Besides, he really does love Ridge. Yeah. Yeah, I know he does. Not that Ridge is a replacement for you, of course. But you have plans for you and Ridge and the baby to become a family. Yes, I want that desperately. That's all I've ever wanted. I know I'm putting this the wrong way. Uh, I just want all of us to get along. I want everything to be perfect and harmonious when Rich gets back. Did you say wedding? Doc, everything's taken care of. A beautiful little church on St. Croix, filled with island flowers. A minister, even a soloist for the traditional wedding song. And a beautiful white sarong for my bride. Rich, when did you plan all of this? Oh, come on. Aren't you used to being surprised by now? It sounds wonderful. Of course it sounds wonderful. It is wonderful, and it's going to be perfect, especially tonight when we start our honeymoon. You mean you actually have already arranged for all of this to happen today? We can be married today. 
Well, we have to get a blood test now, but the uh, minister and the license will be waiting on St. Croix for us. Wow, this is sudden. Well, I didn't see any reason to wait. Doc, I, uh, I'm ready for us to be together. Really together, and I know you are too. Oh, I am. I really am. It's just that... Well, I, I just didn't have it in mind that we would elope off to some faraway island. I... I really want to get married back home. In Los Angeles? Why? I want to get married in a church where we can have all of our friends and all of our family. I mean, it's the most important day of my life. I hope it's yours too, and I would just like for us to share that with everybody that we know. Please, Rich, it's really important to me. You're sure now you don't want to get married today? Rich, this has been a romantic heaven. It's been the most wonderful time of my life. And I feel the same way. But I just want the marriage grounded in some kind of reality. I don't want it based on a romantic dream. Doc, I really do want to marry you. This is not a bad case of sunstroke. I believe you. But we have to do this my way. I just want to start the marriage off right. I, I want to marry you in front of God and everybody that we know. I want the world to accept us as a married couple. I want everyone to accept us as husband and wife. It really means that much to you? It means everything to me. All right. You'll have your big church wedding. Thank you. Oh. In fact, we should book the next flight back to L.A. so we can uh, line up the church, the minister, the caterer, and I will start making a beautiful dress for you. How does that sound? Incredible. Wonderful. You know, there are flights all day, though. So why don't we consummate this in the best way possible? Rich. Hmm? This is another thing I want to do right. After we're married. <laughs> you really are an old-fashioned girl. It's just one of the many hundreds of things you'll be finding out about me over the next 50 or 60 years. Mm. Okay, then you better get back then. I will. I love you, Rich Forrester. Brooke, what if it can't be? What if things don't work out the way you expect them to when Ridge comes home? What then? They will. Ridge tried to end the relationship I had with him for your sake only. He couldn't give me any other reason. And he couldn't, Eric, because he's still in love with me. Yeah, Trish. He is. Yeah, well, uh, no, I don't need it, so you can send the company limo to pick them up. Yeah, that's nice. Ridge is coming home tonight. Ridge is coming home? What time? Trish didn't know exactly. He's going to call her back from the plane. Well, then I better leave. I want to be there when he gets home. Bye, Eric.
Well, back to L.A. Back to reality. And back to a wedding. There's just so much planning to do, but it is going to be the most beautiful fairy tale wedding you've ever seen. I want everything to be perfect. You're thinking about Brooke, aren't you? I'm sure you are, too. I just wonder what she's going to do when she finds out. I just wonder how she'll react. Taylor, I've made it very clear to Brooke that she and I wouldn't be together. I'm sure right now she and little Eric are back with Dad. They're together again. And that they're happy where they belong. I hope you're right, Rich. I truly hope you're right. Which one would you like, Ridge? This one or this one? I think this one. First, a fire. And then I'll light all the candles I can find in this place. And then when we're all cozy, I'll start another kind of fire. Now I know I'm the only woman you really love, Ridge. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't wait till you get home. This is going to be the most wonderful evening. Tonight is going to be the first night of the rest of our lives together. <laughs>